Human trafficking is one of the fastest growing crimes in the world and law enforcement will tell you one of the most difficult to detect. The FBI just wrapped up an undercover operation to arrest traffickers and to rescue some of those victims. News 13's Chloe Sparks joins us live in our studio. And Chloe, how much exactly this activity is taking place here in our area? You'd be surprised, Tom. Both the Bay and Walton County Sheriff's offices and the Panama City and Panama City Beach Police Departments joined the FBI for Operation Cross Country 12. They uh, wound up arresting 17 people on charges related to prostitution and human trafficking. The FBI conducts human trafficking operations regularly throughout the year. However, their nationwide human trafficking sting operation, Operation Cross Country, is most effective for tackling the problem on a large scale. And everywhere we do a dedicated two week uh, surge of resources to try to recover uh, specifically minor victims of sex trafficking, at risk minors, runaway minors, and then also adult victims of human trafficking. Locally, Panama City and Panama City Beach Police Departments, as well as the Bay and Walton County Sheriff's offices, all took part in this effort. They partnered with FBI's Jacksonville Field Office to cover North Florida. They arrested three human trafficking suspects, identified six potential human trafficking victims, and contacted 46 other potential sex trafficking victims to undergo further investigation. This is something that the FBI works together with our partners, and we frankly could not do it, not just with the law enforcement partners, but there's some amazing community groups out there that work hard towards uh, specifically sex trafficking and try to bring resources to people. Human trafficking isn't going to go away. FBI agent CJ Goodman says the best way to prevent it is to spread awareness. He says often the people who are trafficked lack a solid support system. If you see children, uh, minors, individuals under the age of 18 who are just on their own of, of making a tip, contact local law enforcement, at least say something so that we can get some, uh, make some contact with individuals who are out in our community who just are, would otherwise be taken advantage of if not for us to come in and say something and do something. Special Agent Goodman also suggests pointing those who lack resources toward a community group that might also help them. Now, Chloe, what were the national results? Amy, law enforcement agencies conducted nearly 400 investigations. They located 84 minors, 37 missing children, and also some adult victims. The average age was 15 and a half. The wow. youngest victim was 11 years old. Absolutely incredible. Pretty Thanks scary stuff. Thanks, Chloe.